The first part of my talk will be on how sunscreens work. Uh, so I'm talking about the various compounds which are either reflecting or absorbing uh, ultraviolet radiation and by doing so they are shielding the skin from harmful effects. Then I'm going to the uh, question of uh, factors. Uh, you know, the factors are only uh, done by determining the erythema reaction and not any other uh, biological effect such as tumor protection or tanning protection or uh, let's say sun-induced dermatosis protection so we just know the measuring of the uh, erythema. Then I'm going to talk about the importance of using UVA protection including uh, UVB protection so the now the European Union guidelines, uh, they say that you have to have a one-third of UVA protection uh, together with the UVB factor. So this means if you have an UVB factor of 30, you need at least a factor of 10 of UVA protection. Then is the question of how or whether uh, sunscreens really protect against skin carcinoma formation. Uh, from animal studies, particularly with mice, we know that indeed uh, they can protect against tumor formation, particularly squamous cell carcinoma. The problem is that we do not have too many human studies. The most important uh, study was done in Australia over several uh, years, the so-called Nambour Nambur study, and it clearly says there is a reduction of actinic keratosis and uh, squamous cell carcinomas, however, there is no clear effect on basal cell carcinomas. So from that we know that also in humans probably uh, it's worthwhile to shield against UV radiation to protect against carcinoma formation, uh, but it requires more studies nowadays.